So these numbers that I'm going to throw out in this video, um, taken with a grain of salt, it's not gospel. The test I did do, I was told it was pretty close, but it's only in one section of the field. Now I didn't pick the any certain spot because I thought it would show better yield. So uh, that being said, the field is pretty consistent as far as yields, been consistent on that. Um, the field is, half of it is surrounded by wood. So let's take eight, 10 rows, gonna probably be half that number or less. Uh, another thing to think about is uh, we're not done. The corn's not done maturing. Uh, it's like we're going to be, might be in for a dry spell. So, uh, and things can change. A wind could come. In other words, it's not in the bin yet. So, uh, watch the video and enjoy. It's been a, probably a two weeks since I've posted video. Uh, semi caught up on farm, but I've been out of town and had some other things going on. So we're gonna look at some corn. Um, get down to the basics. This is an outside row. Uh, they're usually good. You can see that's a pretty good size ear, but what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go several rows in measure 17 and a half foot see how accurate uh this john deere planter is on placing uh, corn stalks this field the target rate was thirty thousand. um i think time i set the change and everything twenty nine thousand. so we're gonna pick three rows out here in the middle of it measure them get our stand count pick some ears and uh See if we can kind of get an idea on what we're going to yield. Well, I'm in here in the middle of the field. So I've got a flag there. And what we're going to do, we're going to set this counter to zero. And we're going to go 17 and a half feet down that way. One thing about doing two, three rows. I'm just going to do two. I'm going to count the plants. May do three. Plants on each side get the average, and that will be our population. And then we're going to th pick three ears randomly and try to see ballpark what we're going to yield this year. We've been blessed with uh, a lot of rain, so uh, hopefully we can make a few bucks this year. So uh, I'm going to get to it. It is on, uh, let me re-trip it. Mark it down here, do it. We're on zero. We're right at the flag. So uh, let's go 17 and a half feet. We're at 12. I'm having a hard time seeing it with all these stalks. Whoops, we went 18. Let's back it up. 17 and a half. Let me put a flag down if I didn't lose it. There we are. So, I'm going to put this down. It's got a kickstand on it. Yes, those are hay dudes, and I'm wearing shorts because it's hot. So, there we go. 
we got one, two, something's happened to them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Those are no non ears. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28. We've got 28 out of 30 stocks. So I'm gonna do the other side uh, and uh, I'll just give you the number on that. So I've got uh, 25 this time. 30, 29,000 was really where we're supposed to be at. So, uh, Let's go through here and pick three random ears. That looks like a good one. They're all uniform. This is a good one. And we'll call this one. Well. All right. Let's get my stuff, head back truck, head back shop. And we are also gonna look at uh, stock placement. And by my chart here, on 30 inch rows at 29,000, we're supposed to be around 7873. So I've got a tape measure and we're gonna measure a few of them. May have to put you down, but uh, had one of my sons going to come with me, and he changed his mind. So that's that right at uh, seven and a half, six, a little over eight. So the seed placement's not where I want it to be. And... Uh, I will explain something else. It's hot. The reason why I done 17 and a half feet, that is supposed to give us uh, how many ears is between, between there, which we had 28 and 25. So uh, I'm gonna figure that up. It should be 26 and a half. But you time that by, by 1,000. So we're at 26 and a half. If my mind, figured it right population in that spot and no reason why i picked this field it's a uh, just a field that is off the beaten path i don't put eyes on it every day so i thought this would be a good one to come and look at so let's get back to shop finally that is the last planted full season soybean field right there uh, I think I've showed it where we had a sickle pod problem. All I can see is a couple of volunteer corn stalks, not many. So uh, there has been a controversy on TikTok with some farmers, uh, Tony Reed being one of them. Um, it will precision planting. In other words, if I had every ear at or stalk at seven and a half inches will precision planting pay for itself in my case probably not uh i've not run the numbers on putting the meters and the monitor in mine yet but uh the only thing that i have changed for mine stock is the closing wheels i put the twisters and uh seed firmers i am gonna put drag chains on it probably be it for this year uh, that's one reason why I bought the planter I did so it'd be cheaper to put precision and update and stuff but anyways we're almost back to shop so uh, I'll bring you back there so we're back at the shop um, 26.5 is my population and we got uh, 
three different size ears. This one's still got some filling out. This one does too. This one had almost up to top fill and I broke the tip off shucking it, but uh, that's the better of the ears. This one, worms in it or something. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mark an ear, count all the way around, how many rounds we got, count up on all three of them and we're gonna get an average. So, uh, may try to set y'all up to do at least one count on one. So we're gonna start the biggest ear. I'm gonna mark right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 around. That's pretty good. 18 would even be better. Always even numbers around. So uh, I'm not gonna bring you on this one, but we're gonna count up on this one. So first ear, ear number one, 16 around. So, uh, so this was the best looking ear, 39 from bottom to top. I've already got 16 wrote down. I'm gonna get my pen. 39. Let's do the other two and uh, try to do some math. I tried marking it right there. This is ear two. It's 14 around and 40. So we got ear three and uh, We'll bring you back after that. So number three was 14 around 43. I counted up to right here because we still got a uh, long ways to go. We're just now in roasting ear stage. So uh, a couple more rains, this could fill out. Be a lot better ear besides that. So I've got my handy computer with me and uh, I'm on check on there on Google done looked at it but we're fixing to figure out what this field estimate the yield on it and we're gonna take that with a grain of salt so we're gonna take 16 by 39 uh, 14 by 40 14 by 43 and we're going to get estimate of how many kernels are on each one so I'll do the first one ear number one 16 by 39, 624. So we'll write that down. All right, the next one is 14 times 40, 560. Big difference there. And then the third one, 14 times 43, 602. So now I'm gonna take them three numbers and get the average. So we're gonna clear out 624 plus 560 plus 602 equals 1786 divided by three 595 kernels on average. Now, we'll get the rest of it uh, when I figure that out real quick, but uh, our average is 596, 95 uh, kernels. So this one's average right here, number three. All right, so this is uh, what I have found out on the internet. So we're gonna take our population average, which was 26.5. We're gonna times that by our kernel average, 595. We get 15,767.5. All right, there's a fudge factor, and this is the weight of the kernel. I don't know what the weight of the kernel is because it's not dried down. So 
the fudge factor, the the number was 75. We're going to divide that by 75. That gives us 210 bushel an acre. Whether we're going to make that, I don't know. Uh, like I said, that field is pretty consistent. So uh, we'll know this fall whether it's going to make it or not. Uh, we have talked about putting a yield monitor in a combine, but uh, the best way is off of weigh tickets and hopefully we got our grain cart fixed. So we'll, we'll find out if that field's 210 bushel. It'd be nice if it is. But uh, so that's this part of the video. The next part of the video is uh, some drones applying fungi fun fungicide on the corn. Um, we're going to do the drones and then I'm going to close it out. So we finished first cutting of hay last week. Uh, gonna start back next week. That population on that corn, we looked at that particular field, 30,000 cropland, 56.78. I keep everything wrote down, but I don't got it off the top of my head. So uh, 26 half, half population, where was that? Uh, we probably could have found a little bit better stand, but. Uh, I want to keep it real. 210 bushels, I, I, I don't, don't uh, quote me on that. Just something I've done fun, just to kind of share with you some of it, but uh, it'd be nice if it was 210 10 bushel, and uh, we have went up to 240 bushel on a field one time. Um, so just take it with a grain of salt. Um, Thomas Farms merch on Farm Bin merch website. Um, I, I'm not handling it, so just uh, if you need help or whatever, I can get, put you on the site, but uh, I edit on the iPad and it does not let me put links down. So uh, it's hot. Thank you for watching. Um, about to mow the yard and we'll catch you on the next one.